Perugia is the capital city of Umbria region. Umbria is the green heart of Italy, a region of rolling hills and woodlands. This is uh, from uh, the top of uh, our balcony, looking over whole of Perugia. In the far back is the city of Assisi, the hometown of uh, St. Francis. In March, we were passing through acres of acres of vineyards, orchards of pears, peaches, apricots, cherries, very fertile land. Perugia's history dates back to pre-Roman Etruscan times, as back as 900 BC. This is an Etruscan arch, a part of an ancient Etruscan city wall and gate. This is called Etruscan well, originally dug in the 3rd century BC by the Etruscans. The well curb proves it is in use in the 16th century till modern day. The travertine blocks with massive truss beams at the very top of the well is an impressive piece of ancient engineering. In 40 BC, Lucius Antonius, the youngest brother of Mark Anthony, took refuge in Perugia. After a long siege by Gaius Octavius, Perugia was destroyed and burned down. On this house, the marks of fire, stain of soot and embers testifies the event. This is the floor of one of the rooms. You can see the Roman roads in the archaeological area. See the tracks left by cartwheels on the large stones. This Gaius Octavius is the same Caesar Augustus mentioned in the Bible, Luke chapter 2. He issued a decree that a census should be taken, which forced Joseph and Mary went on a journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. This is Perugia's city center. This is the Cathedral St. Lawrence. Its front is the Fountain Marjorie with the statues of saints, seasons, and the Roman mythology. December, bring the pigs to be slaughtered. The two symbols of Perugia, the lion and the griffin. This fresco is from a Renaissance period. The upper section, Jesus ruling in heaven, was started by Raphael, but he died young at 37 years old when he was working at the Vatican. His teacher, Perugino, had to finish the lower section. We find a local Bible-believing spirit-filled church. We also hosted a Chinese dinner, which eight international students uh, heard the gospel. We visited a Canadian missionary to Fianza, Italy, during a weekend. Amber helped with missionary Carmen Chuck's table in giving away free biblical literature. We came back to Perugia with piles of biblical literatures. With God's grace and the local church's help, they were all giving away. The Vision of a Hundred by Sister Sarah from our Harvest Church is fulfilled. Praise the Lord!